Hello and welcome back to Daniel to the channel where I talk about the same stuff that I do on my main channel but everything's just worse. Over the past few years one of my jobs has been working with YouTubers and content creators as a cameraman, as a video editor and as a thumbnail designer. And one of the longest client relationships I've had so far has been with Thomas Sanders and his team and most of what I've been doing is making thumbnails such as these. And most recently we've been working on the thumbnails for the role slaying with Roman series and I thought I'd share my process of me designing the most recent thumbnail for episode five. I've never really made a video like this where I'm doing digital art, I guess, or showing myself using Photoshop. So I don't know how exactly to put a video like this together, but I thought I'd try. I'm actually a bit nervous to share my process because I'm very self-taught and I'm not by any means an expert, but I think I do a good enough job. Now, lately this process has begun with an email from Lauren, the producer, who sends a short email that gives a creative brief, an initial deadline, and any required assets. So this is it. This is a very short email. I'm going to try to do one with the art scenes and maps instead of characters, since there's no new characters in this episode. The title of this episode is Two Bros, One Bench. Play with the expressions in the links below. Maybe there's a bench and they're confused or shocked by it. For context, in this episode, they're going for a cave dungeon and come across a skeleton on a bench. Only one side of the bench is open and they have to figure out how to share the seat. And that's all I have to go off really plus the assets, which I then take a look at. We've got a very complicated illustration of a cave, and I presume that's the bench. We've got old mate and old mate. Oh, so we're gonna go full artsy with this. This is gonna be different, huh? This is the part of the process where I just kind of think. I'm very lucky to be afforded a lot of creative liberty with these thumbnails, but this being a series, we do have some rules to follow. So what I generally do whilst I'm still thinking about what I can do with these assets is I'll take the document of the previous episode's thumbnail and then I'll kind of prepare it as a template for the new thumbnail. I know I could have made a master template, but actually just filling around in Photoshop and kind of deleting a bunch of layers, it allows me to kind of remember how I did the previous one because these episodes come out about once a month. So I kind of forget everything that I do once I finish a project and then quickly kind of remember it whilst just considering what I'm gonna do with the new assets. It's a weird process, it doesn't make sense, but it works. And once the document is all prepped, I begin with the background, which for this episode was simply just the map. So I put it in place, did a simple hue saturation adjustment and a kind of vignette and moved on to putting the characters in from the two shots that I thought were best for Roman and young blood. And this part of the thumbnail process is probably the most therapeutic part because you're just masking you could describe the work as mundane or tedious, but I really enjoy it. It's just kind of very relaxed, very simple. You're just basically tracing a line and making it look nice. I don't know if it's weird for me to like it, but I have fun. So at this point, all that I've really done is use a template from the previous episode, add in a background and a general gradient and cut out some illustrations of the two main characters. So from here, I start to play around with the coloring and the composition a little bit more. And I zoom out in the document quite a lot because when you think about it, thumbnails can be very, very small on a screen. At this point, it's just kind of playing around with color contrast, lighting contrast and contrast in general, just trying to make it pop and stand out. And it was at this point where I realized to really make this stand out and not make it so boring and two-toned or monochromatic, I was gonna have to color in Roman and Youngblood. So I started with Roman and I think I did a reasonable job. This was very weird. Essentially, my work that day was to do colouring in on someone else's drawing, which is very strange, but I actually had a lot of fun. I don't do that much colouring in.
I don't think I did an amazing job, but this was just the draft of the initial deadline. So it wasn't best to spend way too much time on it. So where I went on from there was to add some atmosphere by adding some smoke that we use in a bunch of the thumbnails. And I kind of just overlay it to add some atmosphere and texture and make it feel kind of real i don't know like you can see what i mean and with all of those adjustments i then realized that the coloring that i did for the episode number in the border was just a bit drab so i played around with that a little bit and then sent an email to lauren So the next day I got an email reply from Lauren and here's what she said. Can you swap out the current art for the shot of young blood surrounded by fire, keep blue flames along the bottom and Roman drawing his sword. I updated the folder with the images, would also like the background to be a gradient color or a darkened version of the cave map, whichever you think looks cooler. Don't need to include the bench skeleton since we're changing the title and make the border a little brighter brown, almost gold looking. So from there, I had to do my therapeutic brushwork again, just masking out the characters. So this time I started with Youngblood because I thought they were more important with the flames and all that. And straight away, I got into some very basic coloring, but not too advanced, just to get a sense of how everything would look color-wise. I'm really happy with the coloring job that I did here with Roman. I just think it ended up looking really nice. I'm not someone who's been trained in shading and coloring in that way. I'm just a photographer most of the time. So my sense of lighting is really based on real world application, but I feel like I did pretty reasonable job, especially for this kind of style. So I'm very happy with it, if I, if I do say so myself. Now at this point, it almost looks like the finished thing, but there's obviously some refinement that needs to be made.
And there we are. I really like this thumbnail. I think it's my favorite of the whole role slaying with Roman series. I'm very happy with this style. It's a lot more like the thumbnails that I do on my personal channels like these, which are a lot more minimal and less dense with information. And that brings us to the end of this video. This was a very different type of video. I don't think I did an amazing job of it, but I wanted to give it a try. I've never made this type of video. Maybe I'll show you the next thumbnail that I do or something if you're interested. And to see that, I guess you'll have to hit subscribe on this channel. Check out my main channel. Here's some videos. I had a lot of fun doing this. I just don't know how to feel about this type of video. That's the point of the second channel. It's about experimentation. See you next time. Thank you.